great-grandfather left his first wife after she said, it's either me or that boat. He later went bankrupt trying to market the boat, which he called a yak yak. He was ahead of his time. My grandfather always said that if you have the choice between going out in a boat and having sex, go out in the boat. At least if you catch something, you can make a fish sandwich. My father built his first dinghy at age nine from a Sears and Roebuck do-it-yourself kit. He later lost it to Bobby Aldericio in a game of marbles. And me? The first phrase I learned was, you wanna, wanna go fishing? I got my first boat tuggy when I was five. And you know what they say about apples falling from trees. You have got to create urgency with the customer. It's been here for like six months. You're gonna... Actually, I have someone coming in this afternoon to put a deposit on this boat. We've got some other ones if you want to take a look at those. Nah, I kind of like this one. Well, um, I have a customer coming in at two o'clock. You decide you want it before then? Let me know. Every customer is a buyer, no matter what they say. Buyers are liars. Let me hear you say that. Buyers are liars. You just have to decide on a price. This big bad boat is $8,995. You want to pay with a credit card? Or are you a cash man? I really <laughs> can't afford that much. Suppose I could sell you this boat for a dollar. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Now, of course I can't sell it to you for a dollar. But what price did you have in mind? Well, I, I was looking at about 7500 What if I could make it happen 
for two fifty a month. Would you take this boat home today? What about two forty a month? Okay. <laughs> Follow through is everything in sales. If you're not going to follow through, you might as well not even be here. May as well not even be here. I have to talk to my wife. Okay, great. Uh, I'll be here all week. Give me a call. Let me know what she says. Is your wife home now? Let's drive over and show it to her, huh? <laughs> I think it'd be better if I talk to her first. Okay. Let me get your phone number. I have someone coming to look at the boat this afternoon. If they don't buy it, I'll give you a call. How late are you up? Hey, it's CJ from Mason Marine. How are you? So what does your wife say? I'm sorry to hear that. Is she home now? Could I talk to her? Yeah, I understand. I've been there myself, but you have to remember you're buying more than a boat here. You're buying memories for your family. You know, some of my best childhood memories are being out with my dad on our 1950 cowboy. Uh huh. Sure. Well, I hear you. All right, I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll even throw in a wave raider tube to pull the kids behind the boat with. They'll love it. All right, water skis for grandma, too. You know, sometimes me and my wife take the boat out for a romantic weekend without the kids. You must mean your other wife. Why is Daddy on the phone so much? Because he's a hyperactive, neurotic, pathological salesman. Congratulations, you are going to be so happy with this boat. Can you hold on a second? I got a call on the other line. Hello? It's time for bed. I was on the phone with his wife for four hours. I got a brain tumor, but I made the sale. That's amazing. <laughs> Just amazing. Great sale, man. So let's get out there and make this our best month ever. Anyone who pulls a hat trick today gets a $250 cash bonus. Let's go get them. This is a great boat. I can just see you cruising through the harbor on this thing. Everyone looking at you. All the chicks asking you for a ride. I could be your wingman. Huh? Bill and the Steamster out on the water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, uh, I have to run. I have to meet my fiance for dinner. Sure, I gotcha. A little romantic dinner. Yeah. Setting her up for the old in and out. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. Um, you saw that movie, An Inconvenient Truth, right? Um, you're going to need a boat. We're all gonna need a boat. Unless the government does something about global warming, this whole place is gonna be underwater. Forget Jesus. Al Gore's the only one that can save us now. Hey, nice oh. shot, Tommy! You're all like your father, you're a winner. Don't listen to your grandfather, Tommy. It's just an insecure egomaniac who resents me because I have a career I'm passionate about. He's right, Tommy. I wish I'd barely gotten by selling used boats instead of fighting for our freedom and then having a very successful career in banking and vacationing in Europe, not to mention a real house to raise my family in. Aren't you late for your next cocktail? Ow. Victory! Down for five. Let's go. One, two, two three, four, five. <laughs> There's an open house across the street. Uh, since you're so successful in selling used boats, why don't we go take a look? That sounds fantastic. Great, let's go. Left, 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 right, left. I don't know, but I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. Selling boats is for assholes. Selling boats is for assholes. Dad. Welcome. How are you folks doing today? Fine, thank you. 
We live across the street, uh -huh. but we wanted to bring our daughter and son-in-law over to see the place. And they really can't afford it. He sells used boats. Well, you might be surprised. There are some very creative loan options out there. <laughs> You'd have to be Michelangelo to create that loan. I sell a lot of boats, and we've got considerable equity in the house. I'm sure we can work something out. Obstacles are meant to be overcome, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Why don't you kids go out and play in the yard? It's huge. I'll keep an eye on them. I think you'd like to see the kitchen first, right? Sure. Come this way. So what ungodly amount are they asking? Seven and a quarter, and the phone hasn't stopped ringing since they listed it. I'll be honest, I'm tempted to buy it myself and flip it. If you'd married Blake Frazier, you'd be living here now. Blake used to wear dresses and liked musicals. That's absurd. He was a Marine. Come on, Kevin. You know you soaked up with your platoon mates. You watch your tongue. Enough. OK, so what's your current payment? About 1800 a month. So if I could get you into this house for about the same payment you currently have, you'd put in an offer to that? Yeah, I guess. Great. How much equity do you have in your house? About 100000 OK, well, if you put down 150 placed a offer of 700 and took out a 50-year mortgage, your payment would be about 2400 which is pretty close to what you're paying now. Not really. A 50-year mortgage? I'm 37 years old. This guy's good. I'm sorry, but we can't afford this place. Tell you what, place an offer for 700 It probably won't even be accepted. And even if it does, you can always back out during escrow. I mean, come on, take a look at this place. It'd be perfect for your family. You're wasting your time. Mickey Mouse got bigger balls than he does. Let's put in the offer. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> We have always wanted to live in a house like that. How are we going to afford an extra $600 a month? We have a baby on the way. Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. Did you even think about the property taxes? The taxes are gonna be three times what they are on this place. Just, just trust me on this, I got it. And how in the world are we gonna come up with $150,000? We're lucky if we have 80 in this place. I'm gonna be making some major changes down at the shop. Oh really? Oh yeah. What are you gonna do? Well, I, I, I'm going to hire some new sales guys who are really motivated to sell. And if the old guys don't step up, I'm going to let them go. Uh -huh. You've been saying that for the last five years. You're too nice. You're never going to let them go. Once I get some better sales guys, I'm going to make them commission only. It'll starve the beast. They'll either sell or they won't make any money. Look, let me do this for our family, huh? We can't let fear run our lives. Hmm? OK, Mr. Infomercial, I am not letting fear run our lives. I'm letting reality run our lives. He may sell twice as many boats as I do, but I have balance in my life. You know what I was doing last night when he was selling boats? Patting the one-eyed snake? No, asshole. I was coaching my daughter's soccer team in the regional quarterfinals. Same difference. Kyle, what are you doing? I'm writing a new song, man. All the great rock was written in the 70s. You should write a song like Stairway to Heaven. Led Zeppelin was the greatest band of all time. Dude, you are completely stoned. My band is way better than Led Zeppelin. It is. You should see my guitar player. He's way better than that guy. Jimmy Page? Your guitar player is better than Jimmy Page. Yeah, a lot better. What's his name? Eddie Van Hendricks? It's Mike. <laughs> Mike. Hey, Kyle, since you're the new guy, why don't you get this one? That guy? Looks homeless. Oh, the ones that dress like that have all the money. I'll get him. But when I sell him that Four Winds cabin cruiser, don't come crying to me. I, I got it. Rookie. <laughs> hey, welcome to Mesa Marine. I'm Kyle. I just bought three boats at a charity auction. I got a great deal. 250 bucks for all three. <laughs> now I buried two of the boats in the ground and made septic tanks out of them. Septic tanks? Yeah, I just covered them up with some old plywood and ran the plumbing to my trailer. Does that work? Yeah, it works great. Yeah. The third boat 
runs pretty well. They want to take it to Mexico. Mexico? Yes, and see the senoritas in their serapes. I'm envious. You guys are gonna have a great summer. I'll go get the paperwork. Just gotta take the Steve'ster skiing sometime. <laughs> You're helping Harvey? Yeah, I got his free keychain. Learn the difference between light and heat, huh? I just sold that Sanger out there. I made a great deal on it. <laughs> Did you upsell any accessories? Nah, they could barely afford the boat. Finance the accessories. Yeah, I'll talk to him about it. Did you just sell to that couple out there? Yeah, why? That's my be back. I talked to them last week. Yeah, right. Prove it. Oh, okay. Uh, here, here. Uh, uh, here. Dan and Debbie. You are the half-deal king, because you can't close anything yourself. This is my deal. CJ, come on. You know this is half my deal. Steve, it does look like you talked to him last week. Oh, come yeah. on, CJ. Quit standing on my dick. I mean, whoever closes the deal should get the money. You know, I'm just gonna go out there and start taking names and taking half deals. It'd be a hell of a lot easier than closing them. You know the rules. <sighs> Fine, then you go upsell the accessories yourself. <laughs> That's a good idea. Forget it, you can have it. What? Where's your motivation? Oh, fine. I'll go out there and sell them the accessories myself. You know what, guys? I've had it. I am sick of carrying your weight. I mean, Captain, it's a nice lot you got here, buddy. What are you doing here? Johnny Cross. Uh -huh. Nice to meet you guys. But... Any word on my offer? Uh, it's being handled by another agent at the office. I decided to get out of real estate. Really? Yeah, that's actually why I came by. You know, I've sold all kinds of stuff, from lemonade when I was a kid to cars. You know, if I do say so myself, I've always been the best. But uh, while I love selling, I've never really loved what I was selling. You know what I mean? I don't know, this might sound corny to you guys, but uh, my grandpa, he used to take me fishing. We'd go out early in the morning when the water was glass, he'd fire up the Evan Rood and across the lake we'd go. You know, to this day, every time I smell gasoline and two-stroke oil, it takes me right back to that place. Yeah, see, you know what I'm talking about. So when you and I met, it was kind of like getting slapped in the face. Why not sell boats, huh? So, what I did was brought my work history and some references for you to consider. We don't need another salesman. Actually, we do. We're headed into the busy season. But you have to be able to know boats to sell them. Oh, trust me, I learned quickly. Give me a shot, you won't be sorry. Okay, look, I'll tell you what. I'll work for straight commission. It's a no-lose situation, CJ. <sighs> Wouldn't you make more money selling real estate? Honestly? It's not about the money, man. I got plenty of money. I just want to do something I enjoy for a change, that's all. Let's see if you can sell to Harvey. <laughs> it's a great idea. <laughs> you can sell to Harvey? You got the job. Fellas, that is money in the bank. Kyle! Could you come here for a second? You're a special guy. Hey, Harvey, welcome to Mason Marine. Thanks. Are you new? Yep, just started today. How can I help you, buddy? I want to take a trip to Mexico in a boat I bought for $100. Cool. But the gas tank's too small. So I was thinking of constructing a raft, putting six 55-gallon drums on it, filling them with gas, and running a fuel line from the raft to my motor. You think that would work? I'll be honest with you, it's very MacGyver, but no, I don't think that's going to work.
That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Gonna turn this place around, boys. Hey, let's start blowing up some balloons. Make this place look like we're having a party, huh? Hey, here we go. I'm just gonna finish my cigarette. Let me just hit the head real quick. What the hell is their deal? They here to sell or eat free donuts? They're a little lazy, but they know how to sell books. Please, are you kidding me? Kid, I'm about to outsell the three of you combined. You want to learn how to sell? Come talk to me, all right? Yeah? Yeah. I appreciate that. But you know, I'm not going to be here too much longer. My band's about to get signed. Everyone needs a dream, kid. Just remember, sales is all in the details. Tell me I'm wrong. Do I hear a bit of an accent? Where are you from? Asheville, North Carolina. <laughs> really? I lived in Asheville. Really? Yeah, right off a of tunnel road over by Pete's Diner. No kidding. I eat there all the time. <laughs> oh, Pete's a great guy, isn't he? Yeah. I'll tell you what, when you get back there, you make sure you tell him I said hello. Okay? I will do that. I'm going to be honest with you, Gary. I really hate to see this one go. But if someone's going to buy it, I want it to be you, buddy. This here was my granddaddy's whaler. Taught me how to fish and chase women out of this boat. Hmm. Really? Well, why are you selling it? Well, unfortunately, he passed away recently. I don't know. It's just it's just too emotional for me to fish out of now. Mm. Yeah, I'm real sorry to hear that. I appreciate that, Gary. Tell you what, Pops took real good care of this vessel. I can find one in better condition. So we ready to do some paperwork? Let's do it. All right, let's get her done. <laughs> The way the Republicans have screwed up gas prices, you're better off with this than a 5.0. It's got plenty of pep. I get so much action in this, your dick will fall off. Now, your son that happened years ago. You got anything I can fish off of? My dad never took me fishing when I was a kid. Now I hate him. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's a good guy. <laughs> you know, we're just not drinking. You know? <laughs> so who's paying for this? You paying for this, man? OK, you're good to go. Have a ball, buddy. Bring up another one, Cap. So how'd it go with your customer? Real good. He's got to check with his credit union, and then he'll be back this weekend. Did you get a phone number? Nope. Trust me, my customers call me back. Come on, Frank. You know better than that. You are going to be so happy with this boat. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey. Hi. So they accepted our offer on the house. That, that's great. That, that's fantastic. Is it? Absolutely. Look, things are going great down at the shop. Johnny, he's a phenomenal salesman. OK. Uh, guys, take Tuggy off the table. Guys, guess what? What? We're moving to the new house. Will I get my own room? Yes. Can I get a dog? Only if it's a sled dog that can pull down an extra paycheck. We're going to need every dollar we can get to pay for this house. <laughs> so tell me, you're going to go with the 175 for an extra 500 or the 90 for the advertised price? It doesn't come with this motor? Oh, no, no, not for that price. I mean, come on, man. We'd lose our shirts if we gave it away for that. But uh, don't get me wrong. The 90 horsepower motor is a fine motor. It'll definitely get the job done. But this boat will scream with the 175. The 175 horsepower motor comes standard with this boat. Are you sure? Positive. Oh, hey, my mistake. You know, that's a hell of a deal for this boat, though, huh? Thanks, Frank. Appreciate the help. Hey, listen, sorry about that. You know, everybody makes a mistake, right? But listen, it's a better deal for you, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And since you're saving 500 bucks, that means we can take a look at some accessories, really cherry the sucker out, huh? All right, let's do it. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, Cap, just got full bill on that Ranger. Sold about a grand worth of accessories, too. And you are unstoppable. Well, you know. I would venture to say that you're almost as good a salesman as I am. You know, you and I should have a sell-off sometime. You know, just for fun. Yeah, I wouldn't want to embarrass you in front of the other guys. Oh, yeah, right, right. Well, listen, if you change your mind, let me know. All right. Listen up, Jimmy Buffett. 
You cut in on one of my sales again, you'll be eating your donuts out of a straw. Fuckhead. <laughs> Dude, Johnny can really sell, huh? I could sell 10 times as many boats as he does if I were willing to flush my integrity down the toilet. Yeah, right. Hey, fellas, how's it going? Hey, great sales today. <laughs> thanks, Cap, appreciate yeah. it. So, you guys want to grab a beer or something? No, thanks, my daughter has a soccer game. Band practice. <laughs> I can't. Got a little of this waiting for me. Ouch, pow, pow. <laughs> I met this fine honey online. Look, I, I know <laughs> it's none of my business, but you've got a great wife at home. I mean, is this girl really worth risk? Let me put it to you like this. She's trying to set up a threesome with her mom. <laughs> but count me in for that beer next time. I really want to hear about how you made all those sales today. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> well, looks like it's just you and me, Cap. Oh, I wish I could, but my wife's going to have dinner on the table in half an hour. Ah, come on. Just one beer. Got a few things I'd like to bounce off you. I think we can really get this lot cranking. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> I love that feeling when you got them right where you want them, there's nothing they can do. I mean, you're like a big old fat Cheshire cat grinning down on the little mouse in the corner. They're buying whatever you're selling. Man, I wish the other guys had the passion for selling that you and I have. Oh, it's addictive. You just gotta give them a taste of the drug, that's all. Believe me, I've tried. They just don't seem to get it. You gotta think outside the box, CJ. When I was the sales manager at Greensboro Ford, I hired a hot secretary to motivate the guys, yeah. Huge, fake tits, tight little ass, top salesman of the day, got the banger. Was she a prostitute? Well, she wasn't fucking those rednecks for the fun of it, let's put it that way. Look, the point is, anybody can sell. You just gotta find their buttons, that's all. You don't know Frank very well. Tell you what, why don't you let me manage the guys? I got some techniques I think will really get them selling. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how the guys would take it with you being here such a short time. Siege, come on. I outsell the three of them combined. Frank won't listen to me. He sure as hell isn't going to listen to you. Give it a month, all right? If it doesn't work out, I'll go back to straight selling. If it does, I don't know. Give me half a point on everything they sell. Come on, it's a no-lose situation. <laughs> all right. One month. That's all it's going to take. <laughs> hey, Rockstar, where's the bear claw? Early bird gets the worm, pal. I'll give you a fucking worm. Yeah. All right, everyone. I have an announcement to make. As you all know, Johnny is a seasoned salesman and has been a great asset to the lot since he started. Now, even though he hasn't been here that long, he's really proven himself. I'm not sure I've done the best job in managing you guys and motivating you to sell. So with that in mind, I'm promoting Johnny to sales manager. You guys will all be reporting to him from now on. I call it. Frank, look, I know change is hard, but you can learn a lot from Johnny. He really is a great salesman. Yeah, whatever. Johnny, the floor is yours. I have to go pick up a couple of boats. Thanks, CJ. Thank you. Now, believe it or not, Frank, I am here to help you. I want to teach you guys how to sell. Bottom line, I want us all to make a lot of money. Hey, Steve, just save it, all right? But this bullshit about you guys being out on the deck, smoking cigarettes, not helping out with the balloons, and being a bunch of lazy asses, that dog don't hunt here no more. You guys have had it way too easy for way too long, and there's gonna be some changes around here. From now on, you're all gonna have to produce. We'll follow your lead, big man. Steve, shut the fuck up, all right? Now, I want us to all be a happy family, but you also need to know, if you step out of line, I'm not afraid to hit you. It's called tough love. So here's the deal. I know how to sell, and I want to teach you guys how to sell a whole lot more than I want to smash your fucking faces in. But don't get me wrong. You fuck up, and you'll pay the price. Enjoy your bear claw, big boy. Okay, great. Just uh, check in with us next week. All right, thanks, man. Sure. Hey, Brent, mm. did you get that customer's information? <sighs> no. My customers always call me back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sweet.
Sweet. What was that? Ah, uh, motivational technique. Now, go help that customer and make sure you sell some accessories. Yes, sir. Hey, brother. Johnny Cross, sales man. Victor, bro. Just wanted to know if there was anything we could do to get your business, man. Are well, looking for something big or looking for something fast? We got a 20-foot four-winner who'll be mid-50s. Nah, bro, not big enough, not fast enough. I'm looking for something at least 25 feet and can easily push eight. Oh, I can get that, bro. Give me your name and number, I'll give you a call. All right, you can hook it up. You got my business. Trust me, I can hook it up. That really is a nice house, huh? Yeah, it really is. Between you and me, I don't really think I can afford it. Nah, don't worry about it, Cap. We're gonna get you that house. How? You got an extra seven and a quarter you can give me? No, no, not exactly, but I do have some new motivational techniques I'd like to try out on the guys. If it works, we'll make at least that much. Well, whatever you need to do to get those guys selling, just go and do it. You got it, yeah. Dirty, dirty boy, Stevester, and I know who your daddy is. Hey, Johnny, what's up? Cap, I'm on fire. Got a customer looking for a 22-foot center console. We got anything like that? I was just looking at one yesterday. I'll go pick it up right now. Or you could have breakfast with your family. Maybe tomorrow. Can't right now. Gotta go pick up a boat. You know what? The customer's not coming back till 3. You can't have breakfast with your family. Are you sure? No problem, Cap. I got everything covered down here. Okay. Thanks. What's for breakfast? Steve, I really like you. And while you're doing better, there's still a lot of room for improvement. Yes, sir, big man. But don't worry. I'll... You know, at the end of the day, it's all about the numbers. Unfortunately for you, they're just not here. So here's the deal. You either start selling, or I'm gonna have to show these photos to your wife. So tell me, Steve, is her mom still in town for that threesome, or did she swim her fat ass back to the Arctic? Coast Guard requires, you gotta have flares, okay? You gotta have a global cushion. You gotta have a life preserver, right? <laughs> of course. And one for everybody in the boat, right? Okay. All right. Oh, and a horn. Gotta have a horn. Okay. Hey, come here. You got an anchor yet? No. Oh, God, I have an anchor. You don't want to drift away. That'd be a bummer, right? Yeah. <laughs> come on, let's go. Bring it up. So I got this thing on a trade. I got no way of selling it. One for three cap, 3,000 out the door. Deal.
What's the matter? What's the matter? You're actually pretty good, kid. You could go places. Got a meeting with a major label next week. You really gotta sell your band to the record company, you know. It's art, right, man. Not a boat. <laughs> Everything in life is sales. See that drum kit? Someone sold it to your drummer. This building to the owner. Hell, the concrete we're standing on was sold to the city. Let me ask you this. You guys invite industry people to your shows to tell them how great your band is? Yeah. Why? So they will sign us. <sighs> kind of like the way we invite customers to the lot to buy a great boat. I don't care if you're talking about a boat or the greatest song ever written. They both got to be sold and the technique's the same. Always has been, always will be. You follow? Think about it, kid. He's got pictures of me and Andrea having sex. He says if I don't sell, he's gonna show them to my wife. I knew it. He threatened to cut off Lucy's legs if I don't sell. What? He left this as his calling card, so I'd know he was serious. Shit. What are we gonna do? We gotta call the cops. Tell him what? That I'm cheating on my wife and that he ripped the legs off Winnie the Pooh that we get you to sell more boats? We need to tell CJ what's going on. He'll listen to us. Maybe. Let's go. Okay. Come on, Wayne. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Shit. Ah, you just got too anxious. You gotta play the fish. Thanks, old man in the sea. You know what? I really enjoy being out on the water with you guys. Thanks to Johnny, we're gonna be able to do this more often. Tell him. Uh, look, CJ, uh, we all know you really like Johnny and all, but um, he's a sociopath. What are you talking about? He's cheating customers. He shocked me with a taser because I didn't get a customer's phone number. And he threatened to cut off Lucy's legs if I didn't sell more. Frank's right. This guy's crazy. Oh, come on, guys. You've been watching too many mob movies. He's not gonna cut off anybody's legs. Look, I know Johnny's methods are a little outside the box, but... Outside the box? Outside the box? He's outside his fucking head! He's not gonna hurt you. What about the taser? It did get you to sell more. Yeah, and my balls glow in the dark now. All right, look, I'll talk to Johnny, and I'll ask him to tone it down a bit, okay? Tone it down a lot. Seriously. I wouldn't put your ball there. That's fine. Hey, folks, we'll be right with you. Okay, so here's the deal get to know them a bit, then start the negotiation. Ask them if they'll buy a boat for a buck. If they say yes, it's just a matter of deciding on the price. All right? You got it? Yeah. Cool. Go get them, kid. Hey, I'm Kyle. Welcome to Mason Marine. Um, would you like to buy this boat for a dollar? Sure. But, um, well, I can't do that, but what price were you thinking? For the boat, like more than a few dollars. Maybe. Set. What's on your mind, Cap? I, I know this is probably ridiculous, so don't take this the wrong way, but did you shock Frank with some sort of a stun gun? <laughs> I was just kidding with him. Huh? Doesn't really hurt. It's uh, used for training dogs. 
I, I think it upsets Frank, so maybe you better not shock him anymore, huh? Yeah, yeah, no problem, Cap. No problem at all. Hey, Frank, you tell CJ I tased you? No. Oh! Thanks for all your help. I'll give you a call tomorrow after I've talked with my okay. wife. Sounds good. Uh, let me get your phone number. Here, uh, then if any other boats come in, I can give you a call. All right. I like this regal. <laughs> yeah, this was my grandfather's boat. Passed away last month. I was going to keep it, but I don't know. At the end of the day, just... There's too many memories wrapped up in her. I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, Jennifer. You know, the good news for you guys is Grandpa kept this in his garage right next to his fully restored 1956 Corvette. Yeah, bottom line, you're not going to find a cleaner, safer, more reliable boat on this entire lot. And knowing Pops the way I did, yeah, I know he'd love knowing a hot young couple like yourselves ended up with her. Well, as long as it's safe for this one. <laughs> Yeah, I'm scared to death of the water, and I'm not a very good swimmer. Oh, Jennifer, you have my word. This is a safe, quality boat. You're not going to have any problems with this vessel. Trust me. Hey, man, CJ wanted to check some stuff on that boat before it sold. <laughs> Don't worry about it, kid. Checked it myself. Solid as a rock. Hey, Bill. This is Frank down at Mason Marine. I just wanted to follow up to see if you'd had a chance to talk to your wife about that Boston whaler. Frank did 18,000 yesterday. Yeah, he's really picking it up. And Steve did 22. Boys are hustling, Cap. Kyle just sold that VIP out there about two grand worth of accessories, not to mention an extended warranty. I'm gonna have to get some more boats. I think you're right. 6,000, do I hear 6,000? Going once. Going twice. Sold to number 36. No, no, no. No, no, no. I gotta call this guy about a boat. Right. Hello, I'm, I'm, I'm calling about your Ranger bass boat you're selling. Yeah, how long is it? Ooh, it's so long. Is the, the motor a two-stroke mm. or a four-stroke? Mm, give me the four-stroke. Oh. Oh. Is it oil injected? Yes, inject me with your oil. Oh. Um, oh. nothing, it's just the TV, honey. Oh. Can you keep it down? Oh, no, no, I'm coming. Oh. What? How, oh. how early are you up tomorrow? Oh. Oh. Okay, I, I will, oh. I'll see you at seven. Oh. Okay, thanks. Oh. me. <laughs> I just got a long four-stroke oil injection and you want to give me that? those life jackets off. A tray, you're going to Thank you. You're putting in a basketball court? Yeah. Kids are gonna love it. <laughs> we'll buy this place for pennies on the dollar when the bank forecloses on it in six months. Kevin, let me get him out of here so you can enjoy yourselves. Come on. 
I want to show you something. It's going on here. Where's the asshole? You, you motherfucker, What's sold me problem? a piece of shit. Troy, and my wife and I down. almost Just died. Calm down, all right? Calm down, calm down. I hope you guys hey, have good insurance because I'm gonna own Look, this place. Fi- hey, CJ, don't worry about this. I got it. CJ, we can don't worry about it. I can fix this, boat. Troy. I'll be right there. Fix all right. The boat, thanks. <laughs> my wife told you to your face. Afraid of water. What's he gonna do with that? The shit sank. My wife told you to your face. That's she's afraid of the water. Boat, and we'll check it out. Don't worry about your. What happened? Cap, he was getting up in the boat and fell backward. Call 911. What the hell happened? Like I said, he was getting up into the boat and fell backwards. And landed on the paddle. Yeah. I got a bad knee, Frank. I was using the paddle to get up into the boat. He started falling backwards. I let the paddle go and he hit his head on it. That's the most ridiculous story I've ever heard. You hit him in the head with it. I don't care what you guys think. God and I know the truth. You're gonna fire me, aren't you? No, I'm not gonna fire you. This is just like my last job. I come in, turn the place around, but in the end, whenever any bad shit happens, it comes back on me. You guys are just jealous of me. And you know what? I can't help that. Cap, I'm gonna go to the hospital and tell Troy how bad I feel about all this. CJ, you gotta call the cops. You know he hit him with that paddle. He didn't hit him. Johnny wouldn't do that. I know Frank's a whining little bitch, but I think he's right about this. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, it's ridiculous. Kyle, what do you think? I can't see him hitting someone over the head with a paddle. You know, CJ, we may be selling more boats since Johnny got here, but this place is going the wrong direction. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm good. The inspection on the new house passed with flying colors. Great. And we have three offers in on your old house. Wow. Sign right here. So, um, what happened to Johnny Cross? Oh. He, um, he just decided to move on. And sign here. Boss Ford of Greenville, this here's Carl. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, my name is CJ, and I'm looking to hire a former employee of yours, Johnny Cross. I was wondering if you could give me a reference. Johnny? Oh, I reckon he was great. Truth is, I wish I had him back. We never sold so many cars. Did you ever have any um, customer complaints or uh, injuries? Injuries? No, no. He was a model employee through and through. You take care of yourself now, you hear? Thank you very much. Chevrolet Detroit, this is Kevin. Uh, hey Kevin, uh, I was calling to get a reference on a former salesman of yours named Johnny Cross. Oh, you did a good job for us, never had any trouble. Hell of a salesman, actually. Slow down, asshole. Shut the fuck up! What was oh, that? Oh, uh, sorry about that, we're having a big sale down here and the customers are getting a little crazy. <laughs> I gotta go. Oh. 
Fargo, Toyota, and John Deere can you hold, please? Hey, Cap, got any hot leads today? No, I'm on the phone right now. I'll, I'll be right with you. Can I get you some coffee? No, no, no I'm, I'm okay. Too much caffeine. Bad for me. Uh, n no thanks. I think I have the wrong number. Yes, could I get the number for the Ford dealership in Greenville, South Carolina? Service pickup line two. Greenville Ford, how can I help you? Uh, yes, I'm calling for a reference on a Johnny Cross. Johnny? That bastard owes me five years in back child support. Where is he? Pasadena, California. Well, you tell that no good used car salesman that I'm coming out there. And I want my money! Who is it? It's someone asking about Johnny. Who is this? Uh, my name is C.J. Mason. Uh, I'm calling for a reference on a former employee of yours, Johnny Cross. Is he out of jail yet? Yeah, he used to work for us. Sold a lot of cars. Stole a lot of money, too. Damn near killed my general sales manager when he got into a fight. And then there was that mysterious fire the night before he left. Let me tell you something, boy. If y'all thinking of hiring Johnny, and y'all got Satan for a candidate, hire Satan. Okay. Um, thanks. I need uh, to sell boat, huh? I need bigger boat, <laughs> fast boat. Okay. How much do you want for it? Eighty thousand, no less. Well, that sounds reasonable. We charge a ten percent commission on all consignment. <laughs> you give me good deal. I give you two percent. Uh, no. Sorry, it's not worth my time for two percent. All right, all right, all right, all right. I give you five percent, but no more. Tell you what, um. Since this is a uh, bigger boat, I'll do it for eight. Okay, six percent, huh? Six percent. Deal, huh? Eight. Seven percent. Like I said before, seven percent, huh? But no more. Deal. <laughs> All right. Let's go inside and get the paperwork together. This is a boat. Oh, you guys really got a great sound. Thanks, man. But it's just not quite the right sound for our label. I heard that's what they told the Beatles, man. Yeah, trust me, you guys aren't the Beatles. Laura will show you out. Thank you for your time. Uh, we hate to run, but we're going to be late for a meeting over at Capitol Records. Who are you meeting over at Capitol? Eddie. Eddie who? Eddie Van Hendricks. Well, good luck. Uh, what if we toured the country, paid all our own expenses, and gave you all the profits? Would you sign us? Why? Is your dad a millionaire? No, but what if we could present you with a no-lose situation? Would you sign us? What if we paid all our expenses, did all the booking, all the promotion? You guys don't do a thing. Get all the profits. Would you sign us? Sure. Do you guys want to do that? Well, we, we can't exactly do that, but uh, what if we paid 50% of the expenses and you got half the profits? No, uh-uh, no, I can't do that. Okay, well, what if we paid 60% of the expenses and give you half the profits? Okay, we'll split the profits, but you guys gotta pay 70% of the expenses.
do. Welcome to Laser Records. <laughs> yes! We are going to sell more records than any band ever! I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Dope, dude. Dope. Oh, yeah. All right. Thanks for shopping at Mason Marine. You have a good day, all right, buddy? Hey, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go to lunch. You guys keep selling, all right? I don't think I can take much more of this shit. Yeah, me either. You want bear claw? I'm not hungry. I'm gonna have a little contest this weekend, fellas. You're gonna sell 90 grand between the two of you. How is that a contest? Well, what do we get if we do it? Go ahead and tell them what they're gonna win, Bob. Well, Johnny, Frank's daughter gets to keep playing soccer, and Steve's wife won't cut his nuts off. What a prick. I'm William Bernstein, Mr. Clausen's attorney. You're William Bernstein? Is there a problem with that? No. Troy, uh, I, I just wanted to talk to you. Do we really need lawyers for this? If you have something to say to my client, you need to say it to me. Since the assault, my client has lost his hearing, has limited motor skills, and has periodic amnesia. Well, assault? We no, no, no. It was an accident. See, he, he, he fell off the back of the boat. And... Is that why your employee came to the hospital and threatened to kill my client? And also assaulted him with an electric stun gun? But it's used for training dogs. Uh... Yeah, for Great Danes, maybe. Tell me something. Do you own a house? Yes. Not anymore. Please. Can't we work something out? I think my client will settle for $50,000. Otherwise, we'll take this to a jury. It'll be 10 times that much. I'm having my best day ever, and we're not even going to come close to 90000 Don't be a little bitch. I just can't take much more. What the fuck are you guys doing in here? You can't sell boats in here. Are you just fucking stupid, the pair of you? Yeah. I'm oh, stupid. Stupid for putting up with you for this long. I quit. Oh, you learned nothing, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Frankie pissed his pants. Check that out, Steve. Where the fuck are you going? Sit down. What are you doing, Frank? Oh, what's the matter, Frankie? You get your feelings hurt? Fucking pussy. Hey, put your pants on. The customers are gonna see you. Sorry about that. We're having a huge blowout sale today. We'll be right with you. Oh, what the fuck, Frank? You did not just do that. Get your lazy ass out there and sell them a boat. Don't bite him. Hey, Steve, where are you going? Hey, hey, come here, you ass clown. I'm gonna kick both your ass. I love you so much. I made a really stupid mistake. And I'm hoping someday you can forgive me. Oh, you're all secure now? Thanks, man. Thanks. How's it going? Why are you talking like that? <clears throat> like what? Like you're doing something wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just uh, hanging with Johnny. What are you guys doing? Uh, I'm just getting to know him a little better. Well, why don't you get to know your family a little better? I'm cooking your favorites. Great. Getting... Save me some.
Hey, Cap. What are you doing here? Uh, hey, I was, uh, I was just out, um, you know, looking for a, uh, uh, a horny bunny. Well, you came to the right place. Come on in. I'll get you a lap dance with Thump. Yeah, um, oh my god. It's, uh, it's a lot later than I thought. I, actually, I, I better be getting, getting home. What, are you worried about your wife? It's not cheating if you're more than a mile away from home. No, 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 it's not that. It's just that, uh, yeah, I forgot that, that Tuesday nights are, are, um, pizza night with the kids. No, and... just call her and tell her you're having rabbit tonight. Oh, I would, but if, you know, if I stay, I'll just, I'll be here all night, so. Okay, but you don't know what you're missing. No, thanks. I, I really, I really better be getting, gotta get up early and sell some boats, huh? Yeah. Better get up really early, asshole. Hey, Johnny. The bunnies are hopping tonight. Ah, Johnny loves the bunnies. Thanks for meeting me so late, brother. You got the cash? You got the title? It's in the office. Let's roll. Hold up, wait. Let me see the whole thing first. 21 plus, a few years less naive than I once was. A social drinker who really needs a quick buzz. This is Johnny. Talk to me. Johnny, this is CJ. Did you sell the Hallett for $5,000? Yeah, he did grind me down a bit, though. You wanted six, right? That is an $80,000 boat. Wow, really? Man, missed the mark on that one. Sorry about that. Hey, stop fucking around. Where's the rest of my money? It's a sweet ride. You have a problem with cash, do you? Hell no. Look, Cap, I'm serious. I sold it for five grand. Just take it out of my next check. Damn it! Hey, 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 CJ. Johnny called me. He said uh, you sold the boat. I, uh, yeah, he he sure did. Hey, <laughs> well, show me the money. <laughs> uh, he paid with a, a cashier's check. Can can I pay you on Monday? I was just on my way to Vegas. I thought I would have the money in my pocket. Huh? Oh well, if I don't have it, I can't lose it, huh? We'll, we'll see, see you, you Monday. Hmm? Monday. I'm looking for a Victor Soze. Oh, I'm CJ Mason. I, I run Mason Marine. Is there a problem? Johnny sold you the Hallett. Oh, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, he hooked it up real good. Yeah, see, that's the problem. See, he wasn't authorized to sell that boat for only $5,000. No, no, you got it all wrong, Holmes. I paid $45,000 in cash. Johnny just wrote $5,000 on the receipt, you know, save me from the taxes. But honestly, I don't think it even matters. That boat's probably off the coast of Ensenada by now. Well, great. We, we can call the Coast Guard and they can intercept it. No, I don't think you want to be doing that. Please, don't go. Look, I made a really big mistake, and I'm sorry. Johnny is gone, and I want you guys to come back. I just got hired at Perry Nissan. The worst salesman there made like 150 k last year. 
Unless you can match that, I can't see coming back. Yeah, I appreciate it, but uh, I'm doing my own thing. What is it? Well, you'll know soon enough, but let's just say I'll be making 30 grand a month working from home in my bathrobe. I really need your help. I'm sorry, CJ. We told you Johnny was a sociopath and you wouldn't listen. Guy's crazy. I don't know how to say this, but uh, we're not going to be moving into the new house. Why not? Because uh, I'm having some trouble down at the shop, and we can't afford it right now. That sucks. Tommy. It's okay. He's right. Can we go outside to play with Tuggy? Sure. Get anything yet? I talked to Madeline. You know, I'm a stable guy, but if you say the wrong thing right now, we will have an all-out brawl. I can't buy to apologize. I know that since you and Madeline met, I've been really hard on you. It's my nature, I guess. Is there a joke coming? No joke. I just wanted to say that I admire you. Hard-working, honest, and I've always been wonderful to Madeline. Not to mention giving me two amazing grandchildren. The world needs more people like you. Yeah, right. People who can't pull it together enough to get their family a proper house? I share a bedroom with four brothers. About the size of the house. What goes inside? No, I never thought of it that way. Maybe it's time to start. When was the last time you went out on a boat with the family? What the fuck do you want? We need to talk. <laughs> Why'd you do this to me? What? Help you sell hundreds of boats and make thousands of dollars? Come on. My business is facing a lawsuit. I'm losing my house. My employees left me. You stole an $80,000 boat from me. It's just mismanagement. It's your own fault, pal. Yeah, I could go to the cops and have you arrested. With what evidence? You're an idiot. I want to challenge you to a
Seven, eight, nine, and a grand. Thanks, Alan. I owe you one, buddy. Look, give me another. All those look great. See, you there. Games begin, pal. Mike, huh? Huh? How you doing today, Brian? Johnny Cross. Pleasure to meet you. So you want to get wet? That's uh, no, no, it's me. Hey, that's not nice. Well, I am. I am. C.J. Mason. Yeah, but Welcome uh, to Mason the place Marine. is going it's under. You want to talk How to are me you today? Are you, are you married? Mine. No, no, that's mine. No, hey. mine. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Whoa, oh, yeah. Hey, well, that's mine. Johnny Cross. I got some deals that are going to blow your mind. Really? You're kidding me. I sold rugs at the market right near Shivaji Park. Are you kidding? I wouldn't do that to you. That's man. crazy, man. Totally. So is this book. Hey, folks, thanks yeah! for coming out. Hey, yeah! yeah! what is this? Ah! That's the last you know, time that's going to work. Really is the perfect family boat. If I could get you in for 0% financing, do we have a deal today? C.J. Mason, owner of Mason Marine, are you looking for a ski package? You're in the right place, man, Johnny Cross. These foam core rangers are the safest on the mark. We live up in Big Bear, right? Yeah. Did your house get damaged in the wildfires? No, no, my friend's house burned to the ground. Oh, man, what a drag. But here's the good news, huh? This weekend only, we're giving 110% of our profits to the Red Cross to help out those wildfire victims. That's fantastic. Yeah, see what I'm saying? We're beautiful here. So are the deals. Nice. Nice indeed. We don't have any in stock, but they've got one at Mason Marine. Just make sure you ask for John. Okay, thanks. Hey, Alan, it's Johnny. Look, I gave you a grim. Where the fuck are the people you promised me? Hey, Alan said I should talk to Johnny? That'd be me, buddy. Oh. <laughs> How you do? Hey, are you Johnny? No. Hey, are you Johnny? No. Hey, are you Johnny? No. Were you sent here for Johnny? Johnny's not here anymore. C.J. Mason. Oh, hey. CJ Mason. You got it. Hey, of the... where are you going, man? That's mine. No, hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Name's CJ Mason, owner of Mason Marine. Zero percent financing today. He's mine. mine. No, 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 no. Hey, hey this mine. Boom. I saw the ad in the paper about the 17 foot boat. Oh, man, we already sold that one. But let me show you another boat. It's actually a much better deal. Trust me. <laughs> and I will personally take you out on your new boat teach you how to operate as many private lessons as you need for free. Sounds like a good deal, we'll take it. Hey Jeff, this is CJ down at Mason Marine. Yeah, I sold you that 17 foot Larson last year. We've got some killer deals right now. I could get you into a bigger boat. All right, we need more bodies. Go through the customer database, call every past customer, tell them that we are having the biggest sale we've ever had. Do you have any interest in upgrading your boat? We're having a huge sale. Always good to talk to a fellow Marine. Hey, why don't you bring your boat down here? We'll give you top trading day for it. Are you interested in boat upgrading? I'm sick! Frank, hi, it's Madeline. CJ really needs your help. I'll tell you what, if you buy this boat today, I'll ship it to your brother in Missouri for free. It doesn't come with a windshield? No, no, I can't do that. But I'll tell you what, if you buy the boat today with the windshield upgrade, I'll slip you three grand cash. You just, you just can't tell the owner. You cool with that? Oh, well, I'm cool. All right, stick that in your pocket. Hey, Madeline. Hey, Frank. These two monkeys decided to tag along, too. Oh, great. Thanks, guys. 
Get you the camouflage color. Come on now, just take one. Pick the boat up, Mom. So then Laser shows up and he's like, where's my money? And we're like, dude, we had to spend it on equipment. We spent it on the booking. We had to spend it on food. So Mike gets pissed off and he punches Laser in the face. <laughs> that was the end of that. It's, dude, it's just like it was a crappy deal, you know? Won't make that mistake again. Hey, you'll get another chance. You'll make a better deal. I mean, I heard your band. You're really, really good. I mean, you're not Zeppelin good, but really, really good. Thanks, man. Have a donut. Mine. No, mine. Hey, pick, I said it first. You crazy? No, it was all me. Crazy. I called that for you. Yeah, How'd you hear that? about our sale? We only have one boat left. Yeah, this is my granddaddy's boat. He took amazing Would care of this boat. Would you buy this boat for a dollar? At least take a look at our last boat, Harv. I mean, we're practically giving it away. I know how much you love a bargain, uh, huh? Look, there's no harm in looking, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, I do need a new boat for my Mexico trip. No, this is a perfect boat for that. I can get you into this boat for two ninety nine per month. Hey, buy it for me. I'll throw in a free lap dance at the Horny Bunny. I know how much you love the bunny, Harv, huh? <laughs> how much does it weigh? Um, but my gas wrap sank and took the boat down with it. What I want is a light boat I can put solar panels on and still be able to cruise at 10 nautical miles this per hour. This is perfect! This is the lightest boat ever made! The dry weight of this boat is only 1,800 pounds. You can easily add solar panels to it. Maybe this is the boat for me. I'll need brackets and deep cycle batteries with at least 500... You know what? Batteries. Here's the deal. Crazy Johnny's throwing all the deals today, all right? This boat, everything is free. <laughs> okay, huh? he's actually not authorized to give away any accessories, but I am, and I will give them to you for free. What about GPS with side imaging technology? I'll throw those in for free as well. What about an anchor? Yes. And, and, and bumpers? Yes. And a VHF yes, radio? Yes, we have a deal. Hey, no, I don't think he has any VHF radios, Harvey. No, I have a full case inside. No, no, oh, no, you don't. I don't think he has any GPS either. I want to see the accessor. Yeah, that's what I'd want. Make him show you, Harv. Uh -huh. Hey, yeah, don't forget the horny money, huh? Big old boobs, baby. All right, I got everything you wanted. We have a deal, right? Deal? Sorry, pal. Just sold the boat. You paid cash. You're gonna love that boat. Pleasure doing business with you. Nice try, loser. No, 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 it's not six o'clock yet. There's still 10 minutes left. Good point. Too bad there's no boats left to sell, though. I'll take the cash today. Be back on Monday for the credit card purchases. I'll go get the kids. The winner is Tuggy! Okay, come on, guys. Get ready to leave. Where the hell's my money, CJ? I gotta go. Just wait. This is the last boat for sale on the lot. Maybe ever. You know, this is no ordinary boat. It's been my personal boat for the last 37 years. It's always been stored indoors. Now, that's not to say that it hasn't gotten much use. On the contrary. When I was a kid, I took this boat from the creek in my backyard to Georgia to ports all over the world. We pulled tankers to safety, rescued people from boats that were sinking, saved the girl next door from a big water monster, and transported a salamander downriver to a new home. What the hell are you talking about? This is not just some boat. This is a legend. Considering its age, it's only got minor scratches. 
No major damage at all. It is an extremely low maintenance boat. The buyer of this boat will receive a lifetime warranty bow to stern, free delivery anywhere in the world, and unlimited free storage if you're local. All this for the unbelievable low price for the next three minutes of $12,000. $995. I'll take it. Yeah. Too bad your broke ass don't have 13 grand, huh? Let's partner up. I'll kick in a thousand if you will. Let's do it. I got a 57 Stratocaster with two G's. I have 50 cents. I have a dollar. No, no, no. This is bullshit. That's not even a boat, CJ. Count me in for the rest. Sold. Hey, you know what? Great sale. But you got a minute to come up with the money. Put it all on this. I've got unlimited credit. I know everyone else is good for it. Here's the deal. You're going to give me my money now, or I'm going to kick your ass right here. I wouldn't come any closer if I were you. Fuck you, old man. This ain't over yet, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> there he is! There's a no good use car! Sir, we have a warrant for your arrest for non-payment of child support. What the fuck are you talking support. about? On your knees! I never seen On this your bitch knees. in my life! On your knees! Laugh! Taser! <laughs> yes! Give me a gun! <laughs> So, once we pay back the consignment money and settle the lawsuit, we'll be left with nothing. And no inventory to sell either. Ah, you forgot about the 5,000 he left. I love you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wanted to get you the bigger house. I know. That's why I love you. But I've always been happy in the small house. It just makes us a closer family.
sand beneath my feet I can feel it's not there The waves beneath my toes Or they can anywhere Can we get back to where Where we used to be At the beach, the beach You put my feet on the ground Show.